Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Rad Kutarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. Right, so this is going to be a Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon and uh, Gemini Rising, a weekly tarot reading October 7th to October 13th, 2019. And bear with me just a second, guys, to a shuffle the tarot cards and uh, we are going to jump uh, right into it. Alright, I think that that's good enough. And uh, the first card, which stands for the topic of uh, your week, uh, we do have the star card here. The next one will represent the challenges that you need to overcome throughout the week. We do have the justice card. Afterwards is going to stand the uh, positive aspect of the week here. That will be in the face of the two of cups. And the last one, which stands for the guidance that Saro is offering to you, Gemini, for the week October 7th to October 13th, is to be the uh, Hermit. So before we pick up the part, the reading apart, and interpret it, interpret it a card by card, let's run the cards one more time. So the first one, once again, is going to be the star card, which represents the very topic of your week. Followed by the next one, which stands for the challenges you need to overcome here. That is to be the justice. Afterwards, we do have the two of cups, which represents the positive aspect of your week. And the last one here, it is the hermit, which stands for the uh, guidance that Saru is offering. All right. So the topic is the star card and is going to be catalyzed here by look at that, the four. Oh my God. So uh, what happens here, Gemini, is that you can definitely start doing a, a plan of yours or a thing of yours, which it requires a long term development. Or in other words, transforming your high ideals and, and high goals into a, a long term endeavor, a long term plan, like long term relationships that you can start, you know, like a long term jobs that you can start or projects which are going to give you a, a long term benefits as well. The important thing here it is that you are going to radiate with strength and as well you can count on benevolent support for throughout the week and for the rest of the endeavor. So it's very important throughout this week to a uh, start something, start something new as uh, like I said, you know, as in an endeavor, but do not just uh, restrict yourself with, how can I say it? with or satisfy yourself with only the current stuff that uh, that you are doing you know but aim for a more i would say responsibilities or kind of like a uh, more tasks or more enterprises for yourself to start tackling with important thing here to be said is that you may find an, an inspiration like a person who is going to inspire you with uh, which you know with their performance or with how many things that they are tackling or with their success in general and uh, the full card threatens the star card showing that you are to face the things with a lot of enthusiasm saying to yourself if this one can do it why should i not be able to do it right and that will uh 
provoke a huge impulse into you to simply try out things which you may not have tried out before or that you thought that they are stupid or you basically lack the idea about it. But the thing is that you're going to enrich your arsenal of, of, um, of prerequisites which uh, per of prerequisites, prerequisites which are boosting your enthusiasm and your drive to be more and more successful constantly. But the very least with these two cards, Gemini, you can definitely count that a poignant times are about to end. They, they are about to be over either regarding career or either regarding relationship. And now you will start seeing how many people are there to support you and especially the one who is going to boost your enthusiasm or you are to take as an example this ain't gonna be just the person whom you are you're gonna see and they're gonna stand on a high horse you know not allowing you in their private life just on the contrary I mean that that person itself is gonna try to help you to to show you the recipe of success if you want to say it that way so what happens afterwards what is going to be the challenge itself we do have the justice card and it's catalyzed here by the five of cups so what these two cards here are pointing is that you shouldn't allow the discouragement to take the better of you what i mean it is that here we do have something like a trial and error all right a type of um, progress at least at the very start yes you are a human you may do some certain mistakes along the way you may take some a, a, a wrong decisions or you may make some wrong decisions but they're not going to be that wrong and your mistakes are not going to be that bad that there is no going back out of it or there is no turning back but it is important here to face it with sincerity what I mean is that as soon as you uh, do something, I cannot say wrong, but something stupid, take a responsibility for it. I mean, the people around you, they do understand that you are a human after all. And sometimes this is what we do. We do mistakes, okay? But from out of those mistakes, most beautiful things sometimes happen. Additionally to that, do not be afraid to show a, a, an a, astute discernment in regards to your future endeavors, in regards to your current endeavors, in, in fact, because that is what the challenge is going to be, to call the things with their true name, all right? To call your relationship with a true name, should your relationship be a failure or the way that you are seeing upon it. The same thing goes in regards to your career. You need to show accountability toward oneself and toward your goals as well. That is going to be the biggest challenge that you need to stand against throughout this week. And then we go to the good stuff here in the reading, which is what is going to help you and uh, what is going to be the positive energy throughout the week. And we do have the Two of Cups with the Two of Swords. Wow. All right. So first of all, these are passive neutrals. And what they these cards are pointing is that you there will be always someone that you can turn on into. All right. Should you lost your way? in regards to your future or in regards to your current endeavors, there is going to be always the one or a certain person, certain individual there who loves you, all right, and who wants to help you, whom you can unite, whom you can cooperate with. And throughout these cooperations, what was I about to say here, the word just uh, throw its its way out of my, out of my mind. Um, yeah, you can have that pleasant experience in the in it. You know, that could be, for example, flirting, or it could be a, a person who is always ready to support you emotionally throughout these um, throughout these um, these times. But the thing is that you will always gonna have people that are to exert peace in your life, regardless of how stressful the, uh, the your your growth or rather like, you know, your future advance could be because the star card doesn't say that it's not going to be stressful. I mean, we're talking about improvement. You may feel a lot of pressure from the situation itself and that is going to be a, a mental pressure in the sense of that you may be worrying of is it going to be successful or not but the thing is here that there are, there are going to be always people around you that will um ease your mind okay additionally to that needless to say here it is that you can uh, have some flirting some emotional um emotional flow with uh, with your social circle or, or with new people as well depends uh, you know are you going to spend the time at home or you are going to spend the time out 
dating people or meeting new people and etc etc but definitely you know, a great things can be achieved throughout this week for you gemini if you do cooperate with someone and that is all that is said in these two cards here the two of cups and the star card as well as that the star card points to benevolent support and the two of cups is say even better that this support is going to be unbiased meaning that you know that person does it because they believe in you because they love you because they like you you know because they have that emotional attachment instead of having a, a calculate and calculate calculate expectations for returning of the favor from your behalf and the last card here it is to be the uh, guidance the tarot is offering we do have the hermit and it is catalyzed here by the tree of wands so these are a passive neutrals once again and uh, these cards as a guidance urges you to take the things rather sl rather rather small because uh, slow excuse me because you may get yourself carried away with uh, the uh, with um, the enthusiastic expectations of yourself now while you are going to radiate with high ideals you're going to show strength you know into your performance either career wise or relationship wise um in generally you know um how do i say it um justifying your beliefs these two cards here are urging you to rather focus upon what is substantial at this current stage be smart about it show your intelligence or rather like exert your intelligence into those uh, into the current endeavors instead of jumping or trying to take a two steps with the straight of uh, with the straight of one and before you go forward with your uh, with your dreams because the very well as we saw right now you can definitely make something to start at least initiate you know the process of your dreams coming true first you need to stabilize your current foundation so you need to sit on and on establishing patterns before you challenge yourself with the new endeavors and um that will take a bit of time okay and you're going to be torn apart uh, apart excuse me internally wanting to do the new thing okay but while simultaneously knowing that it is very substantial it is uh utterly um it is it is a mandatory right now to focus upon the things that may slip through your fingers either career wise or either relationship wise but one is sure here uh gemini that you need to be very intelligent very smart throughout this uh, throughout this week always takes things with a, a grain of salt in a sense of that's um picking up the substantial things from them and trying to avoid those that are just on a go just only gonna waste your time and be patient as well should you be baffled about something take your time just so you can find out what you feel about it that's important thing as well and that being said gemini this was your weekly tarot reading september uh, october excuse me 7th to october 13th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. Uh, keep your dreams high. Um, stick to your high ideals and do not shy to show how strong you are because this is what will matter throughout this week. And uh, that concludes the reading and we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.